back here for another section of, of the discussion here tonight. We wanted to um, share a little bit again about sort of how this is organized, who we are, you know, who's working on this at this moment. Um, and it says Sam Genicus on there. I'm not Sam Genicus. I'm Hans again on school. But Sam, unfortunately, couldn't join us tonight. He's with the California Coastal Conservancy and has been a long supporter of the project, as I mentioned, from the funding side and otherwise. Um, but I'm just going to take this for Sam this evening. So, you know, the previous sort of iteration of this project was really this sort of, you know, con close connection much closer connection with the Army Corps of Engineers. And the previous structure for the project was really based in that time. So, you know, the, the group of folks that's been working on this, our funding committee with the county and other stakeholders, felt like it was really time for sort of a reboot on just the overall structure kind of management of the organization. So we put together this um, chart just to illustrate um, how that really looks and how we're working together right now. The top part of you know this this uh, um, diagram is really you no, know it's, it's the county. county. They, this is the county's dam. Um, they are ultimately responsible for it and for the project, and so that's you know pretty clear in terms of the organizational structure here. We have the board of supervisors up at the top. We have um, you know public works and the watershed protection district. You know there's critical functional areas like liability and risk management and legal support that have to happen through the county. And again, it's been really, I really appreciate, I know as a local um, citizen and stakeholder to have the county as a partner in this and to work closely with Peter and, and Glenn and, and the entire team there and folks like Supervisor Bennett as well and the, the whole board. So there's that. The, the box immediately underneath there, the project management committee, you know, really, um, that's a group that we are reorganizing a little bit right now, but it's essentially um, sort of an advisory committee, a group of folks who meet on a regular basis um, to make sure that the project's going in the right direction, um, you know, beyond just the technical work or the funding or the outreach to say, okay, how are we doing as a whole and make sure we're giving that information up to the county. It includes folks from the watershed district like Peter. Um, certainly, it includes key funders uh, and agency folks and other local stakeholders. Um, so that's really what the project management committee is all about. Underneath that uh, that level, it's really about doing the work on the project. And you know, roughly speaking, there's sort of two halves to this. You can see the funding and outreach, I guess, over on that side. Um, that's really what the the funding committee is evolving into. And what we're trying to say here is we know that this project is getting to the point where it's not just fundraising and not just pulling in the money. It's also stakeholder engagement, communications, political engagement, as I mentioned earlier, with key elected officials. And so all of those sort of roughly fit under a group of people that, again, similar to the one I described before for the funding committee with key agencies, stakeholders, Matillaha Coalition, um, key local sort of NGO participation. On the other side of the diagram there, it's really the, the more technical and sort of, um, you know, uh, thank you, contract sort of focused aspects of the work. Um, everything from, uh, you know, specific elements uh, like the Santa Ana uh, bridge piece, you know, the levees are up there, um, environmental compliance, you know, you can just see the complex array of work that's necessary to keep this thing going right now, largely in the design phase um, and sort of assessment and, and, and study phase and soon moving, we hope and, and know with the bridge at least into um, construction and implementation. So that's really what, what this breakdown is in the next couple of slides. Um, I don't want to belabor it. I think it's, it's pretty self-evident. And I would just say that, uh, you know, we really see this as a community-driven project in partnership with our local government as a, as a collaborative effort. That's really how we're envisioning this. And so, you know, I know that Sam and Peter both wanted to put their contact information up here Specifically to say, if you are interested in this project, if you have questions, if you have an interest in a particular one of those boxes up there on the organizational structure, 
you know, write to these guys and let let us know, let them know, and let the committees know about your interest, uh, because we want to continue to pull in expertise on this. We know we need a lot more members of the community to be involved in order for this to be successful, and that's really what uh, what you know we're saying here by saying, hey, come come on in. We'd like to to involve others in this project. So I think with that, I'm going to hand it off next uh, for the technical update portion with Peter and, and Brian and just hand off to you guys.